Hi, I'm John Gallagher, and this is the JMHS Musical. Jackson Memorial High School has been producing Broadway quality performances for many years. Did you know that some of your very own teachers took part in those performances? The director of the show now is Mrs. Allaire. Let's take a look at an interview I had with her and her assistant director, Ms. Bott, earlier today. How long have you been involved with the musicals and what exactly is your job? As director, uh, my job entails overseeing the entire production, every aspect of the production, including all of the uh, ticket information, posters, advertising, etc. We do have uh, positions that allow me to delegate to those positions, but then I get to oversee it. What can you tell us about next year's production of Into the Woods? It's an interesting take on the Grimm fairy tales, uh, music by uh, Stephen Sondheim, which is a really challenging uh, musical production. We are going to do something very different next year, and we're going to have a junior-senior cast, as well as a freshman-sophomore cast. Ms. Ba, I also understand that you're a vocal coach for some of the students. What is it like to see them perform on the same stage that you once performed on and to see them go through high school and enter the new chapter of their lives? It's a very heartwarming experience watching my students grow in front of me right on stage, especially um, take Grace Sharp, for example. You know, she came in and she was very smiley and proper and had this beautiful voice that we've just nourished and grown. And then you saw her this year as Margot in Legally Blonde, something that's just completely opposite from what you know Grace would would personally do and her personality and it, and she she became a chameleon and she wanted to turn into this fun Margot role because she she wanted to broaden her horizons and I think that's amazing I think that all the students here are very well rounded and want to be able to do everything. Next, we sat down with Mr. Robertson, who is the chorus teacher as well as the vocal director for the show. What specifically is your job in the musical and what does it entail? It's my job to take a look at the score, the music, obviously, it's a musical, and go through uh, all of the uh, requirements that we need when we go to cast it. What is your favorite thing about the musical? I think the uh, putting on a musical is all-encompassing music, acting, dance, Art, arts, uh, scenic design, it's a, it's a huge uh, project that combines all the disciplines involved in the arts together and I just like seeing all of these different creative forces come together on one project. Some of our very own students are going to college for music and performing. Gabe Carvalho is going to Berkeley College of Music, and Grace Sharp and Deshaun Williams are going down the performing route, Grace going to Rutgers for vocal performance, and Deshaun going to Fairleigh Dickinson for musical theater. Some of our alumni have also been performing as well. Dominic LaRuffa Jr. is a Tony Award winning and nominated actor and producer. He's currently off Broadway in My Big Fat Italian Funeral. Brandon Contreras is also performing as well. He's now starring off Broadway as Bernardo in West Side Story. I sat down with him to take a look at his future and his career now. What is it like to come back and not only see the productions at Memorial, but uh, help them out as well? Um, there's something so uh, wonderful and special. I think it's nostalgic, not only that, but it's artistically fulfilling. To me, that is, a lot of people have different uh, definitions of success and I think one of my definitions that I have for success is, is um, that I inspired someone because I never really um, thought of myself as an inspirational person or actor and I think that whenever I come back and you guys actually kind of inspire me in a lot of ways to keep going you know I mean I don't know if you can see this but <clears throat> This is my audition book. So this is my audition book, and these are all my audition songs, and there's my headshots. And still to this day, I keep this in the back. And that's you guys signed the Les Mis card for me. So it's just a, a really big constant reminder that that, um, that uh, there are a lot of more there are a lot of more people depending on me than I I do on myself. And it's not about the jobs, how many jobs I get or 
and what the book quality or how much you get paid, but so much the fact that if I continue to do what I love, then maybe I can help someone else continue to do what they love. Were there any difficult tasks you had to overcome to get to where you are? A lot of the hard stuff that I had to go through is facing kind of like adversity and, and, you know, being a minority in this business is also a very, very tricky thing. It's, you know, a lot of people don't have open minds. A lot of people do. Um, sometimes it's something that you just have to deal with. And sometimes, like myself, I had a hard time never really uh, seeing someone who looks like me that I could look up to, you know? There aren't Spanish leading men out there that I can be like, oh, I want his career. <laughs> and for me, the hardest thing right now is, for my career is I want to be that person to other people. And I want to be that to little Spanish boys um, around the world and little fat, chubby Spanish boys eating lunch by themselves that, you know, one day if they want to, they can they can fall in love on the stage and get the girl at the end or get the boy at the end or they can be the heroes of the story. And so I think that's also a really big, important battle for me when it comes to this business. I'm John Gallagher. Thanks for watching.